Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, this problem is very special problem and uh, one single result can uh, give you a result which can, by which you can solve many problems and uh, this problem I uploaded uh, a few days back and uh, today I am going to present it uh, its uh, solution. So just uh, keep this trick in mind and in uh, certain type of problems you can easily apply this. So uh, let's discuss this here. So here is the problem statement and uh, a small particle is placed at the topmost point of a paraboloidal cavity made inside a wedge which is placed on a smooth horizontal surface as shown. There is no friction anywhere. It has been observed that uh, just after release of particle from the top as shown, uh, acceleration of wedge is uh, A0. So just after release, uh, this acceleration of wedge is A0. What is the acceleration of center of mass of this system just after release? The system is placed in unknown uniform gravity. So this is also given and use m by m ratio as k. So uh, let's uh, discuss step by uh, step here. So first thing is uh, equation of this uh, parabola. We will calculate this parabola equation is given. So h and r is given. So best thing will be to take uh, coordinate system like this so that a simple parabola y equal to kx square can be used and then uh, this point is uh, y coordinate is h x coordinate is k so we are obtaining this uh, parabola now here uh, we will get the uh, slope of inclination also th that is tan theta at x equal to r so tan theta also we will get uh, 2h by r 2hx by r will come and this is the parabola equation all right so just after release related to the wedge particle will move along the surface of parabola so one thing we have to see if this wedge is at rest that means we are observing from the frame of the wedge then we are going to find this uh, particle to be moving along this parabola only now this point is very very important because now here i will just reduce one unknown so let's say uh, this acceleration with respect to ground is a naught and here with respect to this I am taking as a r that is relative acceleration. So with respect to ground this acceleration of uh, this particle will become a naught left side and a r this side. So I can resolve these components here and I will be getting uh, this a r net acceleration in x direction is a r cos theta minus a naught and in vertical direction this is a r sin theta. Now one very good thing will be in these cases you are finding net force in horizontal direction is zero because normal is internal force other than that uh, it is uh, normal from here weight mg weight mg so all forces are in vertical direction so i can say uh, the net force in horizontal direction is uh, zero right so center of mass will have zero acceleration in x direction so center of mass is going to be uh, will be at one point only it will be at rest it will not move in x direction and if that is the case then uh, i can say net force is zero means net force on this is ma naught it is left side and net force on this in this direction it is small m times ar cos theta minus a naught and these two should be equal in order to make it zero this relation comes from uh, momentum conservation but i did not i did not want to use that relation basically just differentiate the momentum equation and you will get this. Now, so m a naught is equal to m times a r cos theta minus a naught. When I simplify this, I am getting this a r value which is m plus m a naught by m cos theta. So, from here I am getting uh, now whatever acceleration is there, it is uh, only in uh, y direction. So, mass of particle into a r sin theta divided by total mass this will go this will be the center of mass acceleration which is in y direction luckily in this case so m into a r sin theta divided by m plus m now here uh, m a r by m plus m by using this equation m a r by m plus m i am going to get a naught by cos theta so this uh, sin theta will come here so a naught tan theta it will become now you see this result is independent of gravity it is independent of shape 
doesn't depend on which uh, value you are taking. So 2A0 H by R we can write. But what I'll suggest is just remember A0 tan theta. Now what kind of questions we can solve by using this? We can see this is general result which can be used for wide range of problems. Final answer can be obtained from the slope for just after release. See the thing is if we are taking uh, initial velocity then radius of curvature will play a role and uh, things will get complicated here. But if th in the problem it is given just after release we will use uh, A naught tan theta without any hesitation. I will tell you what kind of problems we can use. So here you can see suppose this problem is given basically this angle theta we need. So directly I will write A naught tan theta. Similarly, here there can be some curve y equal to fx, any curve. It can be a circular arc. If it is a perfect hemisphere, then this will be vertical. Tan theta will become in that case infinity. All right. But uh, <coughs> maybe we can take a circular arc. That is what I have written. Parabola case we have discussed. It could be a, an ellipse. It could be some sine cos curve or it can be any other curve in this case. Result is going to be A naught tan theta. Just find the value of uh, uh, slope at the point of release. So this covers a lot of problems. Other than that also, uh, since it doesn't depend on uh, gravity. So I shouldn't take this as uh, A naught. Uh, we can take some uh, a lift or something so this lift can have acceleration so it will just affect uh, the gravity part g plus a or g minus a depending on uh, which side you are taking whether up or down so i can uh, tell you like the entire all these cases which we are doing on the ground they can be asked inside a lift also so if you'll remember this result, it will cover a lot of uh, problems for you. At the same time, you must remember this derivation because this will give you idea for solving many other problems and it will give some comfort to you if you are able to uh, make all these equations. Let me know in the comment section if you have uh, done this question correctly. And uh, yes, you can also, I will bring remaining problems which are unsolved in the channel. We will uh, solve one by one all of them. And uh, yes, so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem. So if uh, you have enjoyed this problem, please leave a like, subscribe this channel and share this channel with others. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Excellent academic input. Guys, this is about an academy scholarship test. So if you haven't uh, enrolled for this, it's my request. Please fill that and uh, uh, you can win up to 100% scholarship and uh, few toppers will get uh, access to a special rankers group where uh, uh, they will be provided with the excellent academic input and uh, again uh, some people will have a chance to win the trip to Eurospace Center and the test date please don't forget this 8th October and 15th of uh, October and more than 2.5 lakh students have uh, filled this uh, registered for this unset and uh, you can use my code Nidhan sir in order to register for it and another thing is this uh, compete this is one of the brilliant feature I will say in uh, Unacademy it is launching on 3rd of October you can uh, challenge your uh, friends for one to one uh, duel in uh, problem solving so where uh, you can give the problem to somebody and uh, they will solve similarly they can challenge you with a problem and uh, participate and uh, you can see uh, you can find out where you stand in terms of uh, skills and you can uh, win a laptop and uh, prizes up to something is wrong yeah you can win a laptop and prizes up to two lakhs so that's it guys in this video i hope uh, you have